All right, Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine, this is your love reading for today. Let's see what's going on. This is my deck, the Twin Flame Oracle. And also, we're going to take one song from the Twin Flame Music deck as well, okay? So let's see what's going on with Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine today on this Friday. To wrap this week up, Father, what would you like to say? Twin Flames is the first card that flies out. Ooh. All right, and kisses. So your person misses your kisses. They miss your touch. They definitely miss you, okay? Miss you, miss you. Now I want to kiss you. <laughs> Then I just heard this song, Kiss Me Through the Phone. Oh, that's so sweet. All right, so your person really does miss you. <clears throat> y'all heard that? <clears throat> Communication, y'all. Throat chakra. Communication, they still working on it. They still working on it. I still got choked up just now. They, they might not reach out today, you guys. I'm sorry. That's crazy. They want to, though. They really want to. Separation is the next card that flips over. Separation, you guys are separated right now. All right, so Father is telling me acceptance. Accept the fact that you're separated. Accept the fact that you're not together. Divine feminine, do not, do not feel like, okay, that's my twin. Oh, they miss me. Oh, they kiss me. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That doesn't mean anything if they're not in a round. All right, especially if they're dealing with a karmic situation. You are not their priority right now, so trust that. Understand that. That's a little triggering for some people, but you got to come to a place where you accept the fact that they're not making you a priority right now. So I'm sorry. That hurts. And it does, but your person says, I didn't mean it. So they didn't mean to deal with this person. They didn't mean to go into this karmic situation. They didn't mean to be separated. They didn't mean to not make you a priority, you know, but at the same time, that's what it is. They're grieving right now. They're really feeling sad about this. They're really feeling sad about this, all right? So if, if you don't know anything, just know that they do feel bad about it. But I mean, what can you do about it? What can you do? Because it's all, all it's doing going to do is project energy on you that you don't need to be projected on you because you've been doing the right thing. And waiting around is not helping the situation. So Father's saying let go and release, especially during this full moon. Especially if they don't have the confidence yet to come back. They're still working on them. You can't help that they don't have the confidence. You can't help that they don't have the means right now, even though they have all the resources. Father's been giving them sign after sign after sign. I'm seeing that they've been hearing your birthday. They've been... I mean, seeing numbers of your birthday, they've been hearing your name, they've been seeing signs, they've been having dreams, intense dreams. That's what I'm seeing right now because they want to prove to you that you are a priority in their life. And as I say that on the timestamp, two, three, four, there is progression here, but it's slow. Confirmation, but excuse me. Bottom of the deck energy is proposal because they do want to propose, they do want to come forward. They do want to come forward and prove to you officially, that's what I'm hearing, officially. That you are their person and that you're the one for them. But however, it's just taking them so much longer. They're longing for you. See, I'm not seeing anything negative here. They're longing for you. They miss you so much. You know, they're grieving through the separation. This is hard for them as well. If it's been hard for you, Divine Feminine, it's definitely hard for them. Take your emotion and times it by 10 is what I just heard. All right, but they, they need to be brave. Brave came up so many times this week out of this fool day. Look at how this day is. Brave keeps coming up. They need to be brave in this. They need to let go of karmic situations, karmic behaviors, and be brave in this. To cancel out and remove this separation. Divine feminine, you can't do what your masculine has to do it. You just have to believe that they can do it. You know, it says walk away from the betrayal. That's what divine masculine needs to do and break these ancestral curses. Walk away from the betrayal. You know, <laughs> Somebody's walking away from this karmic. Somebody is definitely walking away from their karmic situation. All right, that's what I'm definitely hearing right now. You know, somebody who has mental problems, they are delusional. This karmic is delusional. The fact that they even know that they're a karmic, that they know that that's not their person. They just want the, your masculine for the money. They want them for the finances. They want them for the finances. They want them for the finances. If they want a child, it's because they want that masculine to be around for the child. I know a lot of y'all are in situations where it's crazy. I know a lot of y'all are in situations where um, the person just wants the child to be around so they can keep the masculine around. And that's just sick. That's mental problems. That's mental problems. Trying to take over the kid's life, that's mental problems, all right? Whatever the case may be, using their kids to manipulate, that is sick. I say that a lot here, that's sick, because it is. You might have been ghosted because this person has mental problems. Your masculine is just trying to protect you and that's the reason why they ghosted you. 
They're trying to protect you from this crazy because the whole situation is crazy. <laughs> it's wild. It makes no sense to anybody with logic. You know? And that's because there have been spells being, <laughs> there have been, this has caused this betrayal, spells. Somebody lying. Betrayal is here and spells are here. Somebody's been doing magic on, on this whole connection. And I'm hearing separation spells specifically. Separation spells are made to like make people not want each other, not need each other. Like, ugh, you get on my nerves. Ugh, why would I even want to be with you? Knowing that that's your person, like, what? Are you serious? Separation spells on these twin flame connections. And somebody's lying about doing these spells. Somebody's lying about doing them. Like, they're acting all innocent. Like, I would never do that. You'd be surprised what people do. Especially behind closed doors, is what Father's saying. Behind closed doors. All right, those are roadblocks, though. A few roadblocks. They probably, some people have been wishing on your masculine's downfall to introduce more drugs into their life or to make them crave the, the drug even more. That is sick, y'all. But here comes the signs and symbols, okay? There's a light here. Out of all this gross stuff that just came up, there's a light here that says signs and symbols, and there's a proposal. So Father is letting this person know that you are their person, and they are thinking about the proposal. They are transforming, all right? Transformation is happening. They're not available right now because they are transform transforming, but they're hopeful about this situation. So, you know, they are hopeful. Divine Masculine is hopeful, but they're unavailable right now. It says, be right back. They're in, you're in separation right now. Father says, split the day. Alcohol might be an influence as well. So they're trying to change this about themselves. And so you have to give them time to change this about themselves. However, you also have to just, you know, I'm just saying that divine, fem divine masculine is getting a lot of negative stuff about divine feminine. You know, like, um, I'm hearing that the karmic is starting. She's planting seeds, you know, planting seeds. Uh, trust just came up. Yeah, lion. This is the card that came up for today's trust. But um, they're planting seeds in the divine masculine's head, especially if they're under the influence of anything. Like, oh, yeah, she has this, or she's been doing that, or she's been around that. She's been da -da 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 -da. I'm just seeing the lies that are being told to divine masculine, so they don't know what to do. And that's unfortunate, because divine masculine, you know your person. You know all of these lies don't even make sense. So trust in what you know in your heart to be true. The song for today, okay, is Trust by Brent, by Monica and Keisha Cole, which is, um, you know, she's like, let me be the one who can take you from all the things you see. And if you trust in me, I can be there for anything you need. So your, your person is asking you to trust them. You're asking them to trust you with their pain and their heartache and all the things they have going on. That's the reason why they have to transform. So that's what I'm getting for this connection right here. So, But don't forget, this is a twin flame connection. So it truly is. And those are tough connections to be in. Bottom of the deck energy is nobody's supposed to be here. So you and your masculine feel that way about each other. Y'all feel like, whoa, this person came into my life and they're not supposed to be here. How did you get here? You know, I've tried this love thing, but they're the only person that have the key to your heart. So trust that. Trust that. Nobody's supposed to be here, but trust that. So those are the songs for today as well. That's what I have for you for your love reading for today. Let's go into the next video for the next message. Thank you so much.